I did it again. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. I didn't think I'd be able to top last week's recipe, but you know what? Here I am. <laughs> We're about to top it. What are we making this week? Let me let me take you on a a journey of the senses. Something something so beautiful. Just imagine it as I tell it to you. It's a chocolate cake. It's a cake. It's chocolate. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let's see you slice it open. And what comes pouring out? Molten chocolate. Just oozing and goozing and it's like a Dr. Seuss word. Listen, we're making chocolate lava cake this week. Protein, macro friendly. Let me throw some knowledge on you. All right, so we're gonna need one teaspoon of baking powder, three servings of oats, two servings of whey protein powder, sweetener to taste, half of a baker's chocolate bar. I use unsweetened because it has less carbs. Three servings of applesauce, 40 grams of Hershey's cocoa, eggs, two, and a can of black beans. Yes, I said it, a can of black bean. We're gonna be preheating the oven to 400 degrees today. I start out with my oat flour. This is about 90 grams of oats, 40 grams of the chocolate powder. I'm using dark chocolate today. Already added in my two scoops of protein, and now this is going to be one teaspoon of baking powder. Sweetener to taste. That's just personal preference, man. And three servings of apple sauce. Unsweetened, of course. We're gonna wanna strain out these black beans because they're gonna be covered in this weird black juice. Just rinse them off, nothing too crazy. It only takes a few seconds. We add in two whole eggs. You could sub egg whites if you're feeling low fat, but whatever fits your macros. I blend this all up together in the food processor. You can use a blender if that's all you've got. Would not recommend doing this by hand because you do need to mix everything together. Like the beans, can't do that by hand. Now, this technique, you're gonna boil a pot of water, make sure it's boiling, and in a metal pan or ceramic, place your chocolate. And I think it's called a double boiler. It prevents the chocolate from burning while you melt it. In retrospect, that I really need to melt it to mix it in since it's a very high powered food processor. I probably would have gotten more out of my chocolate if I just put it in uh, not cold but room temperature. I added in an extra square just to compensate for everything that was left in the bowl because I couldn't scrape it out. You can use whatever sort of baking container you'd like to use. Just make sure you spread it out evenly, whatever serving size you want to use. If you're going to do a smaller pan like this, I recommend cutting down on the cooking time because it's cooking in smaller portions. So if you're gonna do it all in one, 20 minutes is what's gonna work for you. But here, about 16 minutes should cut it. And again, make sure you grease it or spray it with non-stick cooking spray before you put the batter in. Now this is gonna go in the oven, like I said, for 16 minutes, not 20 like I show here, 20 if you cook it in a full loaf. You'll notice I weigh out all my ingredients instead of using measuring cups and uh, measuring spoons. And that's just because for me it's easier. Um, I think it's more accurate. Or the serving goes by weight and I can just weigh it out. That way I don't get extra dishes dirty. It just works for me. So if measuring it out works for you, do what works for you. Bring these bad boys out of the oven and they look mighty fine. Do not touch these. Not only because they're hot, but because they will erupt lava. And that's the video guys, don't forget to like, subscribe for more tasty treats.